the Sandon River and I'm just about to launch through the bar here out into the ocean and sometimes this bar can be pretty rough. High tide right now, I think I'm going to do alright actually, it doesn't look too bad from here anyway. Getting a bit sloppier now, getting into the rougher stuff. Hopefully I can carve a reasonable path through this. I've got about 60, 70 metres to traverse, here we go. Yeah, Up she goes. So far so good. I think I'm home and hose. Still a little sloppy, but she's getting better now. And soon should flatten out pretty well. I've been trolling for a while and uh, I'm looking for snapper. So far I haven't had any luck at all. Today's very much a continuation of the Rapala Magnum CD Red Sardine Saga. This lure here, this very lure, uh, you probably saw in the last episode of uh, Yakas was used at Fraser Island to great success. I caught a lot of fish with this lure, uh, a number of big trevally, a whole bunch of mackerel, bronze whale, a shark, a bunch of grinners, some really weird puffer fish with huge cow-like teeth as well. It really did see a lot of action and uh, that's the same lure, it's still in pretty good condition. I'm trialling the Ram Lightspeed rod holder here today. It's, uh, it's a new rod holder and it's an interesting one actually. It's a little bit like a rabbit trap in the way that it works. It has these jaws which close in over the rod butt here and lock it into place. So there's really no need to use a leash with this thing. And here's how it works. Basically you pop it in the seat there, clip it down. There's a lock right here that you can engage to lock it into place and when you want to pull the rod all you need to do is remove that lever and bust it out start fighting the fish not a bad idea it's just a trial run i was hoping to see how it would go with a big fish i'm not sure how well this is going to work when the rod's fully loaded up uh, i expect it's going to go all right actually so let's see hopefully i'll be able to show you real soon got it mounted with this uh, unfortunately named Ram 271U-2 I just call it a uh, Ram 2 to 2.5 inch rail mount and it's a pretty solid mount I've got it, the ball pointing upwards which seems to work well with these rod holders another thing that I like about these rod holders is you don't have to use the locking system you can if you want to just use it as a simple tube and uh, at that it's pretty effective as well from this failed fishing trip now. I've only been out here a couple of hours. I really don't like the look of that cloud behind me. There's rain in it and probably some pretty strong wind. I'm not coming in through the bar. I don't like the look of that at all. I've got radio assistance from the beach. My mate Peter Bowden who practically lives here at Sandon. He's uh, got his radio on and we've been keeping contact. How am I looking, Pete? Cheers, mate.
here at Hathead here today, near South West Rock. And uh, I've been out for a couple of hours. I'm just heading back in actually. And I hooked up onto something pretty reasonable. It could well be a shark actually, I hope not. Maybe a cobia, maybe something else. It's pretty big. There's a fair bit of weight to it. It's taken the Rapala Magnum CD. The red sardine colour, that magic colour, does it again. Please don't be a shark, that's the last thing I want. And they've been getting them here apparently, so I was told. The ramp, they've also been getting mackerel and cobia. Hopefully this is one of the latter. for a while and it's making fishing difficult. Oh, feels like a shark. It's about four meters under the boat. Still can't see it because the water is pretty murky. up a decent fight. Very decent. Got a wire trace on. So there's no danger of it biting through, I don't think. Pretty herky jerky now. Looks like it could very well be a shark. Colour. Yep, it's a shark. God damn it. It's a cobia. Nope, it's a cobia. Yeehaw! A good old code. Beauty. Come on. Monster. Cobia. Look at that for a fish. It's a beauty. <laughs> oh, you've got to love it. The red sardine does it again. There we go. Not a bad fish at all. 